Halloween is officially over and it's time to start planning and prepping for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So even though Thanksgiving is not until the end of the month, I have a list of things that I want to do to get ready for it and for Christmas. And my mom is in town right now, so these next two days while I have an extra set of hands, I'm going to take advantage and try to get some things done off my to-do list. I have three major things that I would like to get accomplished. First one is, is I wanna get all of my Halloween decorations put away and redecorate the house with all of my fall and Thanksgiving things. Second, I need to clean out our pantry and our refrigerator and freezer to get ready for all the food we're gonna be getting to get ready for Thanksgiving. Third, I need to bake. Bake lots and lots of sugar cookies and get those ready for Christmas. First, I'm going to take down all of my Halloween decorations. So I only have about three boxes worth of Halloween decorations and I try to keep everything organized by room. So everything that was like decorating the bathroom, it goes in one box. Everything that was living room goes in one box, kitchen and so on and so forth. Now, usually if I really like how I set up my decorations, I take a picture so I can remember it for next year. However, we're in a rental house right now and I really doubt we'll be here next Halloween so I'm not going to worry about doing the pictures this year. I try to make sure I get all the Halloween decorations down and put away in one fell swoop, but I feel like every year I always end up finding something and have to go dig out the boxes and put it away. But hopefully this year will be different. I'll get everything put away. I also have a box of all of the costumes. So I have costumes throughout all of the years and I put all those together. So I'll be putting the costume that she wore this year in the box and adding that to our costume box. Once I am done putting away all of the decorations, I like to give the house a good clean. So I pick up all of the clutter because somehow our house has become a disaster just over the last two days. So I get all of that picked up. I vacuum, I mop, and just kind of make it so it's nice and clean. Now we kind of have Layla Jane's toys all kind of stuffed into a corner in a basket and they're overflowing. It's definitely time to sort through these and maybe put some of them up in her room and keep some down here and then just rotate them out. So definitely need to look through these and figure out what's gonna go up to her bedroom and what will stay down here. Again, it's kind of hard because this is a rental property, so there's not a lot of storage. So we're just kind of rolling with the punches and figuring out where things are gonna go right now. Now it's time to put out my Thanksgiving fall decor. So I'm usually pretty specific on when and what decorations I put out. From September 1st to September 30th, it's fall decor. Then October 1st to October 31st, it's all of my Halloween. Then starting November 1st to the end of the month, I always go back to my fall decor. And then I sprinkle in a few Thanksgiving items that I have too. Right now, it's just pretty easy getting all my Thanksgiving stuff out because I really pretty much had all these out back in September too. I even have a few of these homemade glitter leaves that later Ayla Jane made the other day. I actually had a vlog on that that you can watch. Um, that was pretty fun to make and I think it just adds a little sparkle to our kitchen table. Next thing on my to-do list is clean out our pantry, our refrigerator, and our freezer because I gotta start making room for all of our Thanksgiving food. I know it's only the beginning of September, so it might seem a little early to be getting some Thanksgiving staples. However, with the supply chain being as off as it is right now, I don't wanna take any chances. So now that I started seeing some non-perishable Thanksgiving things in the stores, I wanna go ahead and buy it so I'm not scrambling at the last minute. In this rental house, there is not a lot of pantry space. So I really need to clean out any items that we really don't need to have in there or that we haven't eaten or that might have expired and get rid of those or maybe move them around so I can have a good shelf for all of my non-perishable pantry Thanksgiving items. Fortunately, since we just moved into this rental not too long ago, our freezer hasn't gotten too full. Just a few things in there I probably need to toss and then it'll be ready to go. Our refrigerator has quite a few things in there that I can get rid of. And I really need to try to fix it because one of the shelves is broken and that leaves us with one entire shelf we can't use. So I really need to try to get that fixed so that we can utilize that shelf and stick more food in here. 
Now that the kitchen's done, I need to run to the store and get a few of those staples that I wanna have for Thanksgiving and just go ahead and get them and store them. Next morning, and next thing on my list is to make a whole bunch of Christmas sugar cookies. Early this morning, before Layla even got up, my mom and I went ahead and measured all the ingredients out. And I love at Christmas time just having a bunch of sugar cookies just already ready, cooked, and cut out into cute little shapes, ready to go, so that we can decorate them and hand them out to people, or even have little cookie decorating parties with Layla and her friends. I know once December hits, it's gonna be hard to find the time to bake all these sugar cookies. So I like to try to do it in November. Bake a bunch, cut them out, and just stick them in the freezer unfrosted so we can pull them out, thaw them, and they'll be ready to go. It just makes things easier. Okay, Layla, <laughs> can you pour the sugar in there? Well, that's one Good way to job. do it. Dump the butter in. That's a good way to do it, one at a time. All right, can you crack the egg? Uh -huh. That's fine. There you go, just kind of peel it off. There! That is so pretty. I make cookies a lot, but there is something super special about making Christmas cookies. It's just so much better, I don't know. I just love this time of the year and just cooking and baking all day long. Now we have to let the dough form or chill for two hours. I forgot that it takes that long. So while we're doing that, I thought it'd be fun to make the royal icing. I love making royal icing for sugar cookies because it makes it so much more easier to decorate and just really pretty because the frosting kind of hardens. And you use meringue powder for it. You could use like egg whites, but I would rather use meringue powder. You can buy this. I think I got this at the grocery store. So now we're gonna whip this up. Yes. Layla, can you believe four cups? Four cups of powdered sugar. Oh, my nails need to be done. But that that's a lot of powdered sugar for this. Oh, yeah. So Layla, this is oh, the powdered hair sugar. Smells so pretty. Does mine? <laughs> Getting all that powdered sugar licked off ya? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so all right, Grandma, you're in charge of rolling it out now, I, I guess. am. Is it a little hard? It's oh, a hey. Little... We... Uh, hey. Hello, we just lost our, bar our baking partner. She heard Winky. Well, I guess it's up to you and me then. I guess so. <laughs> well. Layla? Are you rolling the dough out or are you just licking the powdered sugar? Licking. I I think you are. I think I see a lot of evidence. So I just got most of the sugar cookies put into some airtight Ziploc containers and I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer. And then when I wanna decorate some, I'll just pull them out, take a few out, let them thaw, and I can ice them. But I, of course, cannot tempt Layla Jane with making these cookies and not letting her ice a few. So I kept a few out for her. doing a Christmas tree. Now, are you just licking all that? Yeah, because it's not coming off. Oh. Oh, uh, it is not? No. Really? Hmm. That's funny. Mine is. Uh, 
Layla, well, yours is looking she great. She likes to share those lips. Uh-huh. Mommy's Bring trying mom, to make hers look a little mom, professional. Daddy. It's not I know, mom, I don't have any sprinkles on here. Well, now yours looks good too. Yeah. I like mom, the red snowman. I don't snowman. have any Thanks. sprinkles on here. Well, do you need some sprinkles? Would you like me to put more on it? Oh, well, now what are we doing here? Mm. What, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, you got it on my camera. Mm. You stinker. Well, they might not be bakery quality decorating, <laughs> but they taste delicious and that's all that matters. And I have a ton of extra so I can practice my icing technique over this season. <laughs>